Uzmanov wygrywa. No i jak zawsze żywiołowy Zostawienie Weźcie do półfinału, a więc to pozostanie w rywalizacji. Drugi faul i Uzmanow wygrywa.
first match either. No. Well, it's nice to get him out of the way. Did he give you a hit at all? Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to hook. I wanted to keep him flat and top roll, but I wasn't prepared for the go. I mean, I wasn't. We neither one of us were loaded up at all. So, really? hook, and then I thought, oh shit. Well, let's see what it's got. <laughs> so where'd that energy come from again? You just were like. Argh. Well, it's been building up for the last six hours. My heart's ready to explode. Good job, man. Thanks.
that starts referee, to tear. That referee's grip was like that. And then you bench your wrist, and then he straightened it back up. But you still like this. Andre and Chuck McCray. Draw it. Yeah. 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 John had a, the worst draw a human being could possibly have. He has arm wrestled the two strongest guys, you know, right off the bat, boom, boom. Had a good match with Simarenko, had a next match he's got for he losing off, can't hold on to him, doesn't even pull, comes back, has to pull Simarenko again, fucking war. Let's me have it so we can go to the overall. So we're in good shape. Sim Rango looked like he was going to pass out. Yeah, I think he almost did. Didn't do that bad this time. <laughs> so you don't care about this class. You care about the overall. Winning the Zlati Cup. And so it behooves you to stay fresh for that. Right. In my opinion, it does. I mean, I would have just came in and take two losses if you could have just went in the overall. You know what I mean? I was scared. I was like, man, who am I? I thought Push Car was my bum. Yeah, yeah, but he's a different right. friggin' man, come on, you know? Yeah, but he was just like he was when I pulled him in a vendetta, and I just five to one, just boom. Yeah. But I'll, I'll do it again next time. At the end of the day, man. Plus, I also uh, feel like we were in a hook over here, and I was like, you know what? I think I could do this. You had him. You had him in the hook. I said, I think this guy, I can beat this guy in the hook, but I don't want to find out. It might take over five to Everything's happened today. Can I just say, at the moment, the bet is looking good. I predicted Bajim for the win, and I still believe that that's true because the wars are happening now. you got wars everywhere. But Uzmanov is a freak of God. John Brzezink is God. Mega, what a tournament. It's going to be unbelievable. I think um, last year here, one of the best matches I've ever seen with Brzezink and Taras. This year, Brzezink and Severenko was the wizard's tits. And I can tell you, there's more to come. In the finals, oh, I got nipped on the ass. What's wrong with that biscuit? Tell oh, us. It's horrible. <laughs> tell us. This biscuit, I think, was probably made by the devil himself. <laughs> It's the devil's own biscuit. 
from his tin. Man, that's a nasty, gnarly, sort of nut filled. Should be crispy, but it's one of those that isn't crispy. It's like your teeth sink into it. <laughs> Not nice. I love the first uh, Zinc Samarenko pull earlier. That was ace. I love that. Actually, John surprised me in that because I didn't think he'd do that that easy and I didn't think he'd do it in there that easy. John just has to stop starting right here. Well, he said the ref script started right there. Yeah, but the thing is, is that the ref grip can't get you over there unless you let that guy push you over there. I really didn't think um, he'd stop or slow down Semi's hit. That, that initial burst from Semarenko, he just seemed to just swallow it. The first time. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't get away. He didn't get away. Yeah, Semarenko I don't care what Semarenko should not be able to go like this and get it. Yeah, that's what he did. He lifted his oh, elbow. He yeah. bailed. But, I mean, yeah, but he's in a... Everybody knows he's, he's not in a losing position. If he does that in a losing position, they kick it off. Yeah, yeah. And this guy's fucked, and he's down here, and he just goes... <laughs> pushes him off the pad, and they call this guy out. And he's done it totally on purpose. He's gone like this, and he's just gone... Yeah, yeah. Triple A boom. Yeah, yeah, that's how he should be. We saw that in Europeans like three times this year when a guy's intentionally punched a fella off the pad. Oh, Let me ask you, give me a prediction, Pascal. Gerard and Todd Hutchings. Prediction in Todd and Pascal? Todd. The smart money would have to be with Todd, to be perfectly honest. I love Pascal, he's my training partner, he's one of my best friends in the sport ever. Is he close to you? Uh, I, I have not had sex with him, but he is my friend. And uh, I think, to be perfectly honest, you would have to say that Hutchings is the favourite. Pascal, if Pascal can do something in the strap, he definitely has the potential to beat top guys on his day. But. Um, if I was putting hundred dollars on it, I'm definitely back in Hutchins. So tell me about that match with Andreas Rundstrom and uh, Pascal. He just took him down twice, easy. Not to take anything away from Pascal at all. Um, Pascal could quite possibly beat Andreas when they're both fresh for fresh. But I don't think that Andreas uh, came here with a great deal of training or work or anything. I think he's come here completely cold and he wasn't ready for the for the tournament. He's not. He's not. As good as I've seen him by any, he was a, a different man last year. Here, okay, he plays that card good. He, he, he pulled well last year, but you know, Travis is lying. Yeah, he on never that. won a match. He just pulled two guys good. <laughs> no, he won some good pulls. He beat Ionescu. Nah. Oh yeah, he yeah, did. That he was in the overall, in a strap. Right? No, in the '95. Andreas beat Ionescu in the '95 kilo, not in the overall. I don't think he even pulled the overall. In the 95s? Yeah, because he almost beat Ramey. Yeah, but Andreas went out before him. And SQ came back and slayed people off the beat bracket. He, he was bouncing all over Ron Buff, if you remember. Ron Buff was like hanging on to him by how his... Did, but I don't understand how did... Uh, how did they face in a winner's bracket when Ron Bath was smacked? No, right Ron Buff was in the loser's bracket. Right he away. He Taras, put him into the loser's bracket. First match. Bro. Boom. First match. Mm. Then... Both John him Zink and Andreas were in the losers bracket. John stayed. Uh, right. Andreas stayed in the winners bracket. He oh, beat an SQ. Stayed up. There. Can't remember who Andreas' second loss was, but Where's I remember. Where's Ron Bath beat him and John beat him? Was, yeah, it was Ron Bath. Great match, wasn't it? And he nearly. Where's an SQ this year? I don't know. Romania. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's too close to the worlds or something. Are you take your pick. <laughs> Tremendous pullers in the States at, at, at every weight division. I think if I was naming one, I'd have to say probably in the bottom end it would be somebody like Ray Hendricks or Salawada. I think they're both amazing. Um, a lot of time for Ray Hendricks, really. A uh, guy who's worked, I've seen him work, I used to do a lot of pulling with uh, Craig and Robert Redden a long time ago, back in the mid 90s. And I used to see Hendricks then, and he, he was struggling, he wasn't top class at that time, but it's nice to see him. He's worked his way up, up, up. now he's pulling really good from what I can see. Um, I, th I like Chad Silvers very much. I think he pulls great. And uh, last year I was very impressed with, with Chad here. I think he was doing excellent. He was very unfortunate with the uh, match with Svetan. Very unfortunate. I refereed that match and I, I really do believe to this day if he'd sat still and not forced the issue, he would have won that match with uh, Svetan. But getting a second start with uh, Gashevsky, you better be ready. Is <laughs> it the same level of competition this year as it was last no. year? No. What? Sorry, no, it isn't. So the uh, Europeans came out in more numbers last year. Yes, 
that's just year to year. I think possibly the timing, uh, being a little later in the year this year is unfortunate as well because um, it's difficult to comment. You don't know about Tyrus would have been tough to beat in the overall. Oh, yeah. He done fucking went through those two or nines. Why didn't Tars come? Why didn't Tars come? Just Eva had a baby. Kim Taras, I really don't know. But just had a baby. Baby? Okay. Like there yesterday. You really? You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's more important. That's yeah. the most important ever thing you're going to ever do in your life. So, but Zinoff, I think, would probably beat Rustam. Compare the competition level to Vegas to this. Since those uh, two I'll seem I'll like I'll the I'll two. Very, very uh, difficult to do because Vegas was a much bigger, deeper tournament. Um, in Vegas, you had some superb. The, the guys, the depth of guys from the USA was excellent. You've got guys who are very highly in there. People like Mike Solaris, who I think is an excellent arm wrestler. Um, Jacob Abbott, I don't think was there, but I rate, I rate Jacob very, very highly, particularly with his left hand. He's an exceptional puller. Uh, I like watching Jacob pull. He's a bad man. I, I like Kevin Bongard. So, if you look at it, I would say probably Vegas would have to be tougher due to the fact that there's more guys pulling in Vegas. So it's that alone makes it. If you're just going for the top, the top man in each weight division, you're not going to get many guys at 86 kilos who can pull Rustam Babay. But John Brzezink was pulling in the 90, 90 kilo class. There just is not a stronger 90, a man at 90 kilos than, than John Brzezink. End off. But wherever you want to put him, He's kicking the crap out of anybody.